And so, after 2 years of work and drama we finally have the new lock screen landing. And it is a very impressive arrival, because it is from the rare times a new design is actually worse from what replaces, that was already bad. So, we have yet another typical GNOME design coming, that sacrifices everything for the simple workflow. If we have to recognize one thing on GNOME desktop, that would be definitely the super fast workflows it gives. But it comes with a cost. In short, GNOME increases workflow by reducing features and graphics pleasure, and at the end of the day, they actually decrease the usability of the system, so the workflow gain is pretty much lost. You see, modifying shell with extensions isn't something we only do in our home PCs, but it is a standard practice inside large corporations too. And then, it is the core GNOME apps too, that apart that system tools that are very good, all the rest apps are completely CRAP by design. But enough with the theory, let's go to practice. I will go a bit fast because I have demo all those before. So, on settings we now have only a single wallpaper to pick from, which increases simplicity and therefore workflow speed. I mean, we haven't much to worry about. Then, if we enable lock screen, everything gets blurred, so we don't need to worry if we don't want other people to see our wallpaper. But it backfires too, because sometimes we want other people to see our wallpaper, and in any case watching a blur thing is in particular pretty or useful. Obviously the graphics isn't the only part that got reworked, but I'm missing the hardware to try biometric authentications. Now, as a PC user I don't care much how the lock screen looks like, and I won't stop using Linux just for that. But as a desktop fan, I don't like what I see and I feel disappointed. 